So you guys were one of the uh, cancellations on our mm -hmm. schedule. Yes. Um, and very the last big one. Uh, the big one of the big <laughs> ones, and yes. a very last minute one. Yes. Um, so if you could, as much as you can, I don't know how much yeah. you can actually say on camera, but yeah. walk us through the process behind that because I think when people see cancellation, they think, oh, these fucking idiots, they don't yeah. know what the fuck yeah. they're doing, yeah. Yeah. and that is quite often true. <laughs> it is. Yeah. But it isn't yes. always all of the story. Yes. Yeah. Last vacation. Um, we had been, we had finished, we'd gone into official pre-production November of 2010 and with a pretty, with a pretty ready script and we started, we knew, last vacation was big and so we kind of wanted to take our features to the next level and so this was going to, we wanted to do it with some kind of budget. So we initially thought 200000 to be right under the SAG ultra low um, and, but give us enough money to have a top-notch crew, hire t a specific talent from LA, and play the game with like you know everything that we've here. You know you gotta you gotta have certain things um, in order to get your film out there and get it you know have it ha have a better chance of playing more festivals and getting into theaters and getting picked up for distribution. So we're like okay, we're gonna try and play the game. So um, we started in November 2010 trying to cast Abby, uh, the lead role, with someone from LA because we felt well if we cast one. Then we mm -hmm. can kind of keep everybody else. We really want to promote Seattle talent. We have great actors here, so we'll just play the game a little bit and see if that works. Yeah. So we really focused on if we can get if we can get Abby cast, the rest of the chips will fall on the line. We just had to go with that. Mm -hmm. with well, that also it was like you know idea. every every potential investor that we were talking to um, or investor connector that we were talking to was always hammering home the point like, well, I, I need to have a package. Yep. You know, so it was a matter of like, well. And even some people even advise this, like, you know, have a date. Like, just, just schedule the shoot and just go. Yes. And then that way people will have a time limit. Because if you tell an investor, I want to make a movie, and they're like, when? We're like, well, you know, soon. Then there's, there's no, no reason of to commit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so that's basically, that was what we did, is we had a bunch of people lined up that were either connecting us to potential investors or we were talking directly to potential investors. And so we were like, well, hell. Let, I mean, yeah. you know, here, here's our crew. Um, and so we reached out to the very best crew that Seattle has to offer, and here's our cast. And so we had someone from LA, and we had all of the rest of the people from Seattle cast. Mm -hmm. And here's our schedule. Mm -hmm. Let's go. And we had rehearsals. We were we were in full rehearsals, yeah. um, you know, and we we had crew rehearsal or you know crew meetings. Um, we had location kind of preliminary scouting. location yeah. scouting. I mean, we literally we were we were ready go ready to go. The only thing we didn't have were the sign checks, and we thought it took a, it took a lot longer. To get someone cast from LA because it was, it was incredibly, just a game. It was, a, it was a. I learned a lot. It on, was simultaneously easier and harder than I think we both sort of imagined yeah, it would be. Yeah, because um, we didn't have the money up front to hire a casting director, and that's the, that's the always it's the chicken and egg thing. You you know you need, you need money to get the casting director to get the lawyer to sign, to make the PPMs to get the investors on board. Yet you need the investors to pay for the lawyer, to pay for the casting yeah, director, yeah. to pay for, and then also you know we were trying to get pre-distribution um, or at least you know letters of of intent well, or interest. or interest, letters yeah. of interest, and uh, you know everybody was saying, well you need a sales agent, and 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 if they are cool, then then we'll we'll sign on, or I need to see something, or yeah. So here here was the circle. You know. Investors were like, oh I want to I want to see distributor interest. And then distributors were like, well, cool, if you have a sales agent, we can do that. And then sales agents were like, well, I want to see the finished product, and then yeah. we'll figure it out. Yeah. And then you're like, but, but what? Yeah. And I mean, all, it, there, there's a certain amount of, like, we could debt finance yes. up to a certain point ourselves. We, we, looked into, uh, we looked into all options. We were like, okay. <laughs> but we, we couldn't do the full budget. Can we, yeah. can we you know, get at least um, a, a, a loan or some kind of financing for at least to get us through production so that we can pay everybody? And, and then um, cut together like a sizzle reel, maybe you know get a booth at yeah. AFM or yeah. you know. I mean, we we something. literally yeah. we literally looked at every option because the last thing we wanted to do yeah. was cancel. Well, and spent I mean, we spent a lot of money, yeah, reaching out, hoping that it would come back, and um, yeah. you know, we just had so many irons in the fire that we just we had a little bit of assumption and a little bit of hope and a little bit of faith that yeah. some enough elements were going to drop into place, and then just you know one big one that we thought we kind of had. Not for sure, but like definitely more of a possibility that dropped out, and then it kind of. Well, and you know. the the biggest thing was that you have to have a date in order to get crew on board, and you have to move forward, like you know, because you have to start scheduling, you have to start doing pre-production things, and so it just was, it just you know, and everybody, and we were 100% straightforward with everyone the entire process because we did not want to keep anybody in the dark or let anybody false 
you know, think that anything was going to be um, what it wasn't, um, you know, and so, and so we, we knew that we had a cutoff date and we said if we don't get everything by this date, then we have to call it. Yeah. And so three weeks out, we did.